The line between seeing a psychiatrist and a psychologist therapist can be as blurry as your vision when you first wake up in the morning, which, by the way, is often the time when our minds decide to ponder these kinds of questions. When to see a psychiatrist? Think of a psychiatrist as someone who has a medical degree with a Rolodex of prescriptions they can whip out at a moment's notice. They've gone to medical school, and they can dish out drugs. You'll want to see a psychiatrist if you suspect your issues are chemically based. This means if you're experiencing severe mental health disorders such as major depression, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia, psychiatrists can diagnose these conditions and prescribe medication to help manage them. When to see a psychologist or a therapist? In contrast, a visit to a psychologist or a therapist is like a visit to a personal mental map maker. These professionals are about talking, diagnosing through conversation and behavior observation. They have their doctorates in psychology, PhD or PsyD, and are experts in psychotherapy, behavioral intervention, and quite skilled in navigating the human psyche. If you're dealing with life stresses, anxiety, mild to moderate depression, relationship issues, or just need someone to help work through life's many roadblocks, a psychologist or therapist is your best bet. No drugs from these folks. It's all about the talking cure, cognitive behavioral techniques, and actionable strategies for change. Why it's not a one-size-fits-all Sometimes it's not a clear-cut decision. You might start by talking to your primary care physician about your concerns. They might steer you towards one or the other based on the details you provide. And sometimes you need a combo. Some people benefit from the medications prescribed by a psychiatrist to get mental health disorders into a manageable state, while simultaneously digging through the why with a psychologist. Portland Resources, living in Portland, Oregon. I'm fortunate to have access to plenty of mental health resources. There are many skilled professionals here, nestled among the trees and the rain, ready to help navigate matters of the mind, be it with a notepad or a prescription pad. Seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. It's a step towards understanding yourself and managing your well-being. And whichever route you choose, it's about getting the support tailored to your needs. Do your research, reach out, and most importantly, take that first step. The mind is a complex maze, but with the right help, you can find your way through it.